bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again, and welcome back to French Hot Beer Reviews. Another beer from one of our favorites, the hot butcher for the world, Darien, Illinois. Normalize the signal. It's a double IPA with mosaic and sabro hops. Seven and a half percent alcohol by volume. These hops in this beer were hand selected in 2019. So I'm hoping they froze them because it's been a little bit. They probably did. Uh, canned on January 11th of 2021 today is the 25th so yeah we are... candy citrus light pine and a uh, vibrant tropical this is gonna be exciting we're two weeks I've in. Had this one. two weeks fresh on this beer we're gonna look at it smell it taste it score it based on untapped join us there if you haven't fhbr we will read your scores when we do our recap it's a thank you one. so thank you so much for watching all those social media links are down below and Please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you know when we put new reviews on. That's all. That's all I got for station identification. Ready? One, two, three. All right. Looking in full bodied and nice and cloudy. Uh, oh. I didn't pour a big, you got a good head on yours. I didn't do it like that. I, well, I, pour, it, I pour it like a man. Pour it like a man. It's a beautiful looking beer. In it has a little of that in your, in your camera. It has a little grayness. Mine does. Yeah, eh, not much. It's slightly less creamy looking in person than it is on on my on my screen. Um, but oh wow, it just looks like a nice full bodied, great head on it. I'm excited for this. Yeah, a little uh, boozy diesel kind of stuff going on, smell wise. Tropical but, fuel, but tropical, yeah, a tropical, exactly. Tropical diesel, <laughs> fermented, tro fermented tropical stuff. Piney diesel. Not a whole lot of pine. Mostly tropical fuel. I'm getting a little booze in the smell. Is what I'm saying. I am too. Like a little singeing of the. Yeah. I'm not getting the pine on the aroma. Hopefully, it comes through on the flavor. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Keeps coming. Hit. <laughs> Punching. Keeps. I'm glad you did. You followed that up perfectly. Yeah, I, 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 snuffed, <laughs> I snuffed that out fast. <laughs> Candied citrus is definitely coming through in the pine. It's on the back end, but it's more. I get tons of that candied fruit, candy tropical fucking craziness. A full mouthfeel, I think, is how you described it before. And yeah, uh, it's full, one, it's not heavy, it's full. Yeah, this one is definitely a full mouthfeel, and it's totally candied, candied fruit for me. Not only, it, it doesn't drop off, it intensifies that as uh, as it goes down. So I get my score written down. Four two five for me. Okay. I gave it a four three five. I was gonna round it up to a four four, but it sounds like we can knock it down to a uh, four three. All right, so. which is uh, a great score. Um, very good beer. Yeah. Up Butcher comes through again. So 4.3 for us. Let's see what uh, our friends checked it in on us. And uh, thanks, Jeremiah, for sending these out once again. We appreciate everything you guys do for us at the channel. And um, we don't take it for granted. Native. Six seconds. See you soon. Right back. Baboon. Hello again, and welcome back to the French Oil's Bear Reviews Untapped Recap for Normalize the Single Signal by Hot Butcher for the World. It is a double IPA, 7.5% alcohol by volume. 
Scott, what you got? Uh, Jeff and I like this one quite a bit. We scored it at a 4.3. We had seven friends check it in. Their average was a 4.29, and Jeff is going to lead off with our John Auburn had a four. Do you know that guy, John? A little bit. A little bit. Gavin Puchanik uh, with a four. Andrew Campione gave it a 3.8. Jeff S. with a 4.5. Sam W. gave it a four and a quarter. And Justin Roberts gave it a 4.5. And you got one more there? Yeah, Alejandro gave it a four and a half. All right. And there was 5,274 total check-ins for a 4.33 average. This bear goes back to 2019. Um, Jeremiah. Our average is a 4.3. Jeremiah sent us these, uh, you know, he said he was drinking it like four or five times. He never scored it, which is is a nice thing to do when you work for the the brewery. So, right. Um, a very, very good beer again from Hot Butcher. So uh, we are we are so blessed to to get these sent to us, uh, and hopefully they will be available soon in the New England area in uh, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, where uh, where we are. So have a good night. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and drive slow off. and drink much. That's probably okay. not great advice, but okay. As long as the drivers. Good night. <laughs>